Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here in Nolens in SC14 at the Penguin Computing Booth, and I'm here with Phil Picorni, CTO of Penguin. How you doing? Pretty good. I'm having, having a great time here in New Orleans. Yeah, you know what? We're almost done, which is pretty exciting for me, but you know, I heard a lot about Tundra, and uh, what's, what's the deal with this box? Yeah, so Tundra is a really exciting thing for Penguin Computing. We're bringing the ideas that Facebook has contributed to their Open Compute project, and we're adapting that for the, the kinds of densities and manageability that, that HPC customers demand. Uh, so, you know, Facebook had a very specific kind of data center idea that they wanted to design out for, and we recognized that that really wasn't the same kind of idea of what our HPC customers wanted. But there were a lot of really good ideas there, and we wanted to be sure to capture those and extend them into the HPC space. And that's what we're calling Tundra. Okay, so Tundra, it isn't just about form factor, is it? I realize it's not an 18-inch rack, and it, 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 it's different in a lot of ways. What does it have to offer HPC? So it offers density. We can do up to 96 nodes in a, in a, in a 42U cabinet with 10 gigabit Ethernet. We can do 81 nodes with InfiniBand. You know, so we're talking about InfiniBand interconnects that Facebook doesn't do. We're talking about uh, disaggregated power, being able to do AB feeds with battery backup, being able to eat 277 volt power, 480, all kinds of efficiency improvements, density improvements, serviceability improvements that we're making to form factors that are enabled by the changes that Facebook introduced in the open rack design and then we're leveraging into the HPC space. Okay, so these design elements will help me out. I mean, they're designed for hyperscale, right? What they call those big, you know, server farms that Facebook does just to run their service. Yep. So, so certainly we don't have uh, HPC centers of that vastness. So help me out here. What, where's the goodness? Well, um, uh, let's let's go over here and take a look. Maybe right. a little closer. Okay. okay. Help me out. What are, what are we looking at here? Okay. So for. Um, for a Tundra, what we've partnered with is Emerson, who's made a high power shelf. So whereas Facebook is only doing about 10 kilowatts a rack, we want to be able to do 30 kilowatts a rack. Emerson allows that with a 15 kilo, this is configured as 15 kilowatts, but it can do up to 24 kilowatts as multiple three kilowatt modules. Then we use that to drive, Facebook's density was only 2U, uh, was a 2U node, three wide. So they got three nodes in 2U, or about one and a half U, right? Okay. And what we've done is we've designed a node that's only one U high, so we can get twice the number of nodes in a rack with a dual socket Haswell server with a by 16 port for a high performance interconnect like InfiniBand and make this the core of your compute infrastructure in high performance computing. Now, can you do AMD as well with this kind of sled? Yeah, so for AMD, we're talking about using their ARM chips in a sled like this, yeah. where it would be basically storage. So we can use their uh, ARM uh, CPU in, uh, in this configuration to drive up to eight drives, four three and a halfs and four two and a halfs, to deliver uh, object kind of storage, like Hadoop file systems, Swift, uh, Ceph file systems, uh, those kinds of things in uh, a, 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 a similar three three nodes wide, one U high tray. Yeah. And uh, this gives us 12 three and a half inch drives per rack unit, or with the addition of the two and a half inch drives, we're talking 24 drives in one rack unit. Nice, nice, really nice. All right, so, you know, the, the, the sled form factor, you, can you do GPUs and things like this as well? Actually, yes, we can. So using this same motherboard, uh, uh, which has a single socket Intel E3 1200 processor, okay. we can replace this hard drive complex with a riser card and put a full-size GPU in here. That could be an NVIDIA grid card yeah. where you could do offloaded virtualiza uh, remote visualization. Yeah. That could be a, uh, GP, G, uh, a, a GPU compute like a Tesla yeah. uh, card or an AMD 9100 Fire Pro card. Well, uh, okay, so GPUs and uh, Acceler... What about the Intel Xeon 5? So we can also put in this uh, in this form factor with the GPUs, Intel 5s would fit as well. Okay. And in the future, Intel will have bootable Knights landings and we'll have a solution for that as oh, well. Excellent. All right. Gotcha.